Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearthbound 4 as we are playing with the Fifth Portuguese Empire in the Law Resistance expansion. All right, so uh, just showing the how the naval invasions have been going uh, and and how the Axis have been doing on pushing them back into the sea. Uh, Denmark still the same situation. Uh, looks like both sides are having trouble getting across uh, the river here, and then or I guess that's. The canal, perhaps? Is that what that's supposed to represent? The canal there? Yeah, I think that's the canal. Uh, so, both of them are having trouble getting across there. Uh, and then we have uh, the naval invasion over here, uh, more in Brittany. And it uh, doesn't look like it'll be successful, more than likely, but they have been expanding there. And then you got the naval invasion here. This is another one being pushed back into the sea. And then the Italians, and probably the Germans, have uh, pushed the Allies out of southern Italy and Sicily. So that's the, the way that's been going so far. So this episode is going to be, or probably going to be a shorter one. I'm going to try and make it a shorter one because uh, otherwise I don't have to stop the recording and come back and finish it. Uh, but what I do want to do is make sure that we get two things done. One, that we get the Soviets defeated. And two, that we get the peace treaty done. Uh, so that's my goal for this campaign is just trying to get both of those done. And these guys could go and attack here, I suppose. Instead of going wherever they're going. And, uh... Should have, yeah, somebody wiping that out there. This guy's tacking across a river, but he has one already. And there we go. So it's, wow. All right, so we literally only had to play for a couple minutes and we got it done. Uh, so we got the equipment. We can see what they had. Uh, they did have a little bit of infantry equipment, but not much. They were running low on infantry equipment, uh, 3,000. Uh, about 261 guns here, so they're short on that. And you can see just not a lot of equipment. Uh, so that's what the, the problem was is they were lacking equipment because of all those damn casualties they took. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we can get here. It does look like the Germans have. They've already, they went first. They had a bit more points than us. I'm going to say we had like 25% of the war participation or something like that. While the, the Germans had like 40 something percent maybe. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's what it was. So they did not puppet the Soviets yet. They have only uh, annexed them, or excuse me, the annexed territory. So we could still puppet them, which I think we will do. Let's just see where it's going to give them the territory. Usually here, over here in the east, yeah. So what we're going to want to do is make sure that the Soviets are placed somewhere where we want them to be. So the best way to do this would be to go take all states here. So we'll take all Soviet states. And then we'll just deselect the state we want them to be at. And that's going to be too expensive. To puppet then. So it's got to be somewhere that we own. So what I'm thinking is perhaps having the Soviet capital in Stalingrad. I think that's the best way to do this, guys. Yeah, let's have the Soviet capital in Stalingrad because we do control that territory. And so that would be 63 here to puppet them. Uh, so then we'll, we'll puppet them and then we'll have to... I guess get rid of all <laughs> all these. I don't know if there's a quicker way to do this. Oops, damn it, god damn it, shit. Get rid of the puppet. All right, puppet them. All right, so I wanna get rid of this one and then just go like so. I don't know if there's a quick way to do it other than this here. This is the way I know. I mean, and I mean a, a quicker way to remove all these states here. Because you can reset, but of course then that would uh, remove the puppet. Oh Lord. The Soviets are the roughest to do this with because <laughs> of just how many states they have. All right, so we want to puppet them to make sure that these are cheaper for us to take. Uh, so now from here on out, we can just take territory for ourselves. Question is, do we want to do we want to take it, or would we rather uh, you know do we want to annex it, or would we rather give it to the Soviets? And that is the question, isn't it? Here's the problem, guys. We don't have any fucking steel, man. And we could give it to the Soviets, then we gotta trade with them. Which, as I, I, we saw in that, that Romanian series, which was with the Soviets, with, with the Russians, I should say, uh, where we puppeted them and, and traded with them, it was like a full-time job to build in their lands. I had to constantly be building in their lands uh, in order to keep them uh, keep their autonomy low because trading or for resources requires so much, uh, or increases autonomy so much, I should say, because you're trading for like 80 of a resource at a time. Uh, so if we trade for their steel, we trade for 80 steel from the Soviets, 
we're going to have to build in their land all the time. Uh, and we have limited civilian factories as Portugal. We're not Romania. We had a lot more factories as Romania than we did, than we do now. So I just don't think it would be wise to have to trade for all the resources. But that will result in something weird happening if I take all this territory for myself. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it just yet. Uh, but at the very least, I would like to get some of this territory here to my control. We could also go this way as well. Take this into our hands. Uh, but if we want to keep the Germans from expanding too much, then we also need to deal with that. So there's a lot of things here that need to be dealt with. As far as what territory we can grant, I think we can get most of this here. We'll have to see. That one's pretty expensive. Remember, these are all controlled by the Axis. So it might be kind of difficult to get that land. Uh, I'm not seeing any steel over here, guys. Yeah, there's none over here. So as far as the only steel provinces that we owned, would be this right here. And this one. And that is all, guys. As far as uh, we could uh, satellite some other powers, that'd be option or liberate. I don't want to liberate them, uh, but perhaps puppet them, uh, you know, which would be satellite here. Just see what uh, all options. Yeah, we could satellite the countries here. But again, I, I don't want to trade with them. I want a steel province for myself. But I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get that. Yeah, I don't really see any. I think this one here is what we're going to get. That's, that's 11 steel. There's that one right there, which is another 22 steel. So we could try and take all this into our own hands, I suppose. Yeah, I guess this is what we're going to do. Let's go and start taking territory, guys. I could uh, release these guys, and I'm tempted to, uh, but I mean, let me just see here what uh, provinces they'd get if we satellite it. All right, so obviously Azerbaijan is over there. We're not going to do that. Armenia, Georgia. There's Kazakhstan, and they would get all this territory here, so that's not how I want that to look. Uh, we could do Uzbekistan. Yeah, I could put a satellite them as well. I'd be fine with that. And there's Kyrgyzstan. So that is not the resources that we need. So is it Kazakhstan? Yeah. Okay, so we won't be doing them. And what we'll do is we'll satellite the rest of these powers here, these countries. It's just not, uh, it's not very expensive. So we won't take it for ourselves. These will all be like free countries, not free, but you know, puppets. And then what we'll do is take this territory up here and we'll see how this ends up looking. Uh, just make sure we get all this for ourselves. Because I need, I need to steal province guys and we can't trade for it the whole time. You know what I mean, guys? I just don't see that working out very well. All right, so we could go this way. And what I'm thinking is the Soviets would be like here. I want to make sure we do have, and they could get all this, perhaps. Uh, we can't do anything with them just yet, though. And then our lands would be all out here. So we get like that aluminum there. And maybe get this steel here. You can go to grab that one. I don't know how we're going to make this look, actually. Hmm. All right, well, we don't have enough points for any of this, so. Maybe we'll just grab back here, get this territory then. Hey, these are all like one pointers. Uh, there's Mongolia that could be uh, taken as well. Just looking for a. Uh, oh, here's a nice steel province right there. Can we get that one if I pull back on this? All right, we can't get that one. Excellent. We get that eight pointer, but we can't get the 12 pointer. Got it. Okay. So I think this is how we're going to do it. Yeah. And what I like about giving the Soviets this territory here is that they'll have the, the oil. Uh, can we get this? We could get this one as one pointer, but I'm not sure how I want to do this yet. If I want to give the Soviets this territory, I kind of want to take it for myself. For myself. Jesus. Um, going up this way. Until we know what we can do, we won't take that. I'm trying to make it so we don't get too much map core here. All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens here. So this is the way this is going to look. It's going to be kind of a broken up area with many different countries. While we're going to be expanding our territory out towards the east. That's the goal here, guys. And I'm going to try and take the... Uh, the territory on the the coast as well uh, so let's go ahead and start with increasing the soviet union's uh land because they can get it really cheap so that'll allow us to get quite a bit of territory here uh hopefully that's the idea anyway all right so just kind of take the territory around here and then try and make this look uh look decent let's of course give them all this territory here that'll give them the oil they need to be able to run their ships which is important and then, yeah, then we can expand out this way because it's it's all Soviet territory. And we'll just let the, the Germans take all up here, I suppose. 
try and get him Crimea. And just get him all this. And we'll just focus on getting the Soviet territory done first. Alright, so we have them. This is what the Soviet Union looks like right now. Let's go ahead and get some further resources. Okay, it looks like these are a bit too expensive. We could probably get them that one. There's another 100 steel. So we could end up trading for some steel from the Soviets if need be. But again, I don't want to have to trade for them, trade with uh, them for too much. I also want to kind of cut them off this way to make sure we don't have to worry about the uh, the Germans taking more territory up here in the north. So maybe we should do that. But man, getting that steel there would be really nice. Okay, so that's the way we'll do it. Do we have any other points? I can get that one there. Alright, so I guess we'll get this one, and that'll be it. Okay, so that's what the Soviet Union looks like right now, right now our puppet. So I don't think there's anything else we can get here. I could look, but yeah, it doesn't look like it. Could get this one. I think we are going to extend our own territory up this way. Uh, and this is where the Soviet uh, line will be. So there's going to be a small puppet. I mean, small for the Soviet Union, anyway. And I think that's it. That's all we can do. So let's go ahead and end our turn. See what the Germans did. They're taking territory down here, uh, I think. Uh, I don't know if Romania's taking anything. No, Romania's not taking anything. This is all going into German hands. All right, excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... Just seeing if there's anything else we can do over here. They might want to. Nah, that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and continue taking territory. Uh, again, I kind of feel like we should concentrate on, one, the coast and to the territory up here so we can try and cut the Soviets off or the Germans off and take any more territory. Uh, so the line would be, so this would be all our territory actually. Yeah, we'd have to take all this because I want the Soviets to be right here. So we need to take up here in the north and that's gonna require a ton of points. Hmm, all right. So let's, let's start with the Soviet Union's line and I'm, I'm just hoping this doesn't end up looking really strange. But yeah, we want to go up like so and get this here. And this will cut them off, the, the Germans, I mean, from taking any more territory. We could also take this one and just give that one up to the Germans. Yeah, let's, let's do that. And so let's go back to our own. And then what we're trying to do here is draw the line right across here. I don't think we're going to have the points to do this, guys. Damn it. Yeah, it's just worth too much because we don't occupy it. Hmm. All right. Well, what if we went up this way? Could we get this? This is just, it's all so expensive, man. All right, at the very least, we could cut them off here. All right, so that's what we'll do. We'll try and cut them off at that point uh, to stop them from taking any further land. We'll see how that ends up going. Uh, of course, they'll try and take the coast. I don't know if I'll be able to stop that. I'll try. Try my best, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and take whatever we can, which probably isn't going to be much. Uh, we'll have to give some territory to the Soviets, I guess. They get this this land cheaper. Uh, so let's go ahead and try and take what we can. Again, doesn't look like we're going to be able to get anything. 16 points there. I kind of feel like the, the Germans should get right here. Uh, I'd like if we could get that one, but again, you can't. We don't have enough points. All right. And I do want, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so that's Soviet territory, got it. Let me just see if we can't take, no, we can't do that either. Can we take this one? No. All right, so I think that's it, guys. That's all we're gonna be able to do for this one, unfortunately. Unless I can get, no, we already tried 16 pointer. Okay, so that's all we're doing. Let's go and see what the Germans have done. They take more territory over here. Uh, they didn't take this over here, so we're still good. Excellent. Uh, so what I'm trying again, what I'm trying to do is like have the line cut off here. Uh, so if we could get like this territory here again, this one's really expensive though, so I don't know if we'll be able to get it or not. Uh, all this is in in German hands. Uh, they're occupying it, so that's what's causing the problem here. All right, so we'll get that. I'm trying to get all down here, man. <laughs> that's 422 points though. Uh, what if we cut the Soviets off or cut the Germans off by taking that? Okay, so that'll work. But yeah, we're still in the situation where we can't get all of this. We could get just leave them that, I suppose, since that one's kind of expensive. And we just need to get this here, and then we'll be golden. Uh, but yeah, I think this is all we're going to be able to do for right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and just take uh, more of this territory here on this side of things. Uh, what we can, anyways. 
Okay, so we can get that one. Uh, this one's 43 points, the Kharkov province, so that's unfortunately a bit expensive. Uh, so let's just try and get something else then. All right, so it looks like that's all we're gonna be able to do. We might be able to get that six pointer. Nope, we can't do that either. Okay, so uh, let's go and enter turn again. So they take in Moscow, that was probably pretty expensive for them. Uh, and then we have taken this little line of territory here and up here, so we just need to cut them off by taking out those two right there. Uh, and so let's go ahead and start doing that. Uh, Soviets need to get that one as well. It's only gonna be 26. All right, so I can't get that one, unfortunately. We need to get this one to stop them from taking any further territory, and that one's pretty expensive. Uh, so that's not gonna be an option. Damn it. All right, so we might not be able to stop them from going here unless we pass. Hmm. All right, so this is what we need to do. We need to at least get the territory that we want over here. And uh, then we can start passing until we can get the points to do what we want to do. All right, we need to thicken this up as well. Though it doesn't look like that's gonna be possible. Just don't have the points again to get this done. These are all 20 something points. Is there anything we can take along here that's cheaper? 16 there. We can go and start moving this way, I suppose, if we can. Nope, 12 there, 11 there. All right, so none of those are possible. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to pass again or wait our turn. And what did they take? They took a little bit more territory over here. Okay, uh, so yeah, we're trying to wrap this up here, guys. And uh, I don't know where the line is now. <laughs> I think it's right there. Uh, so let's try and get this for... Damn, we just can't get anything for him, man. Shit. Alright, so that might end up going into German hands. Might not be anything I can do about that. The borders might end up looking kind of strange, guys. I don't think there's any way for me to, to get around that. Alright, so we got those. Uh, I'll see if there's anything I can get for us. I think we already looked at 11-pointer, though, so no. All right, let's go and enter turn again. And we're, I think we're just going to have to pass. We can't get anything done. So they'll have to get that. Uh, I don't know who will be getting that. You assume that the, the Romanians would get that territory. So at the very least, we want to get that province. We're going to lose this one. That's okay. Uh, and we did get all this, so that's good. So that's it for the Soviets. I, oh, wait a minute. One more. That's it for the Soviets. Uh, and then the rest of this is going to go to us. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get this 100. We just don't have the points, man. All right, uh, we get that 16-pointer. Although I'm not too worried about them taking this. Well, they could. They could come down this way and take this. All right, so we'll go ahead and get a couple more. Just trying to make this look decent, guys. It's kind of hard to do. We just don't have uh, the points that we need to get, get some of the stuff done here. All right, so that's it. We're so broke on points. They did take that. All right, so we're in a bad position because I need to get this here. Yeah, they ended up getting it. Damn it. <laughs> I wouldn't have had the points, though, guys. Shit. Yeah, that sucks. When you let the damn uh, AI do the the damn peace treaties, man. Shit. All right, guys. So they are going to have this little weird... Yeah, that sucks. If we could have got all this. This is how I wanted this to look. But I remember this isn't all Soviets here. But yeah, this is going to look super strange, man. All right. is what it is, guys. Um, there's no way around it. And I can't get that 303 pointer either, so we might have to give that to them. I wish I could give that away to them <laughs> now. Oh, yeah, it's gonna look terrible, guys. All right, I'm just trying to see what we can do here to make it like to improve it. Uh, we can get that one. Let's try and get these ones up on the side here. I can't get that one, it's just too damn expensive. Ugh. <laughs> might just be able to get these two. Yeah, these ones are just too expensive, man. Could get this one. But I think that would end up looking stranger. Uh, I mean, if anything, we should give that to the Soviets, I guess. Yeah, let's give that to the Soviets. It's also cheaper if we do that. All right, so we'll see what we can get over here on this side. Should be able to get some of this anyway. We did wait a lot. Uh, and I guess we're just going to have to go give those up to the Germans, man, because we just don't, we're not going to have the points for it. Could go and free Mongolia. I suppose we will do that, actually. Go ahead and just puppet them, I mean. Yeah, we'll puppet Mongolia. Then see what we have points left for. It looks like we have quite a few points still. I'm surprised we weren't able to get some of this territory over here uh, back before we took all this. And I'm surprised we weren't able to... Well, it's, yeah, it's 700 points. Never mind. I'm not surprised. All right, so we can't get the 40-pointer there. These are really expensive because, again, we don't occupy those. Maybe we should go ahead and start taking the territory on the coast here. Although, yeah, don't have the points for, for that anyways. 
All right, guys. Could get that one. Nope, can't get that one. All right, so let's go ahead and turn. Uh, the Germans are going to take all this. We're just going to have to let them have that that one there. Uh, all we can really do now is is start moving east and try and get as much territory as we can. Uh, we're done with the Soviets, though. Uh, this will be what this there looks like. Remember, they don't have this here. That just uh, hasn't changed color yet. All right, so just go ahead and start taking taking the territory here, getting what we can. I'd be surprised if you could get any of these. This is going to be hard to get through here, guys. Uh, that one's expensive, too. That's 11 points. Usually it's like one point. All right, so let's go ahead and enter turn. See if the Germans are not taking the coastal territory at the moment. I guess we'll we'll start with taking the territory up here to make sure they can't take it. That's 22 right there. And that might be all that we can do. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and enter turn. I'm going to see if I can't get something on the coast here. We cannot, so we'll have to pass. So we want to get the territory up along here. It's just so damn expensive, guys. Yeah, that's all we're going to be able to get. So let's just pass then. And are they even taking anything? Let's just take a look. Okay, it looks like the Romanians have taken territory, by the way. So they got that territory on their, on their borders. All right, so we did pass a couple times. So we should be able to get some of this, you'd think. Yeah, we can get some of it. Can we get this uh, one here? No, we cannot. This is just so expensive, guys. All right, let's enter turn. Pass again. And then try and get these last two coastal ones here, which we cannot. Uh, this is going to take a while. <laughs> All right, so we can't get that one now. We can get this one as well. Let's see if there's anything here that we can get. Nope. So we're just going to get this one. All right. And remember, we can always give all this territory back to the to the Soviets if we wanted to. So the Soviets could be stretched all the way from, you know, well, they'd be up along here, all the way to the to the Pacific. Uh, so we could always give it back to them. For right now, though, we need the resources uh, and the manpower because we're going to get a lot of manpower from this. All right, let's just go and pass. I shouldn't be able to take any of this now. And we should be able to get it all done. There we go. All right, so I think that's it. Yeah, uh, so let's go and take a look at how the map looks. There's going to be some map war, guys, just the way it is. All right, so that's the way it is. Um, I tried, guys. I tried cutting them off. Sometimes when you you try to cut them off, you end up making the, you know, so that they can't get any more territory. You end up making the map look even worse. Uh, because, yeah, you want to try and you stretch out and you create a, a snaky, snaky front here trying to cut them off. And that often ends up making it look worse than if you hadn't tried to. And this was a good example here. Uh, but there's really not any way to fix it, guys. There's not really anything we can do here, uh, unfortunately. Uh, so they are the Russian Empire. Part of the Iberian Alliance, and uh, this is how they how they look. Uh, they've got this little snake worth of land here. Uh, just looking at their current intel here. So if we want to see, they have uh, quite a bit of manpower still. Uh, so what we'd want to do is request garrison support. And I'm also thinking about requesting garrison support from the Iranians. And so yeah, they just gave us all that manpower. So we were requiring 120,000 manpower for our garrisons. Now we only require 56,000. Now again, we're also garrisoning uh, a lot less Soviet territory uh, as well as the territory here. And so yeah, this is our empire, guys. Uh, this is uh, what we own for right now. Uh, again, we might end up giving this all back to the Russians, but for right now it's gonna be used in our effort, uh, in our war efforts, uh, because we are so short on damn steel. But now we're not. Now we have the steel we need to build up the Navy uh, to fight the Allies. All right, so we need to get all of our troops kind of moving back uh, to the locations here. Now, remember, this is all part of our alliance. Uh, we hold all of this here. So if we were to just look at us, uh, we are looking at us. Uh, you can see that this is the whole alliance here. Looking pretty mighty just now, guys. Little old Portugal looking pretty fucking powerful now. All right, so let's go ahead and start moving all our troops uh, back home or, or to the locations where they're going to be going to fight. Uh, we do have an upgrade here. Uh, this would have been useful in the war. Let's see what we want to get here. So he has the commando available. So there he got the commando. Uh, so that has allowed him to get one of these these three here. I don't think any of these are ones that we want to get for like a main fighting army. I don't think he does a mountaineer as well. Sounds great. All that mountain fighting we did. Yeah, I don't see any of these being ones that we want to get here, guys. Not for this general anyway. We'll see if any of the other generals have upgrades though. Uh, he does, but he doesn't have anything available. And that's it. Okay. So what we're gonna want to do 
is go ahead and start preparing for the next conflict. Uh, so there are some neutral powers, uh, such as these guys here. Uh, they are fascists, though, so they'd probably join. Oh, they're part of the great. Never mind, they're not neutral. So is everybody in Asia in a faction? Let's just take a look. Let's go to the faction map, guys. Because, uh, yeah, Tibet has been added to a faction, haven't they? Oh, they haven't. Okay, so they're neutral. Okay, so we have these three countries here and Afghanistan. Those are the neutral countries right now. It looks like Sam is still neutral as well. Uh, so we could attack Afghanistan to kind of make this look better. But again, I feel like Afghanistan's like a massive waste in resources. So I don't want to attack them. And also a couple countries over here improve relations. Okay, that doesn't affect us at all. So yeah, I don't think we're going to conquer anymore, guys. Uh, could conquer down this way as well. And Saudi Arabia we talked about that. Could also conquer the, the Turks. I think they are, are already moving towards going fascist, though. The Germans did that focus, I believe. Uh, let's just take a look. Yeah, fascist influence. So they're currently uh, moving towards fascism. Uh, we could also attempt to get them into our faction, but they're not fascist yet, so it's going to cause some problems. Uh, but yeah, we could try and get the Turks into our faction. They might be more likely to join the uh, Axis, but we can try. Uh, that's one option. Uh, but let's get all our troops moving, uh, get them out of here. Uh, so the, the attacks that we're going to be doing, we're going to be attacking here in Africa uh, when we fight the Allies, whatever land they end up still having here. Let's just take a look. Uh, they end up having all this, so we'd have to attack from our colonies here, here, and here. Uh, so we're going to want to get plenty of reserve troops over there. Um, which means we're going to want to build some more of those. Red Army will, will move home because we're going to be doing the naval invasions. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're going to move them home. Same thing with the Yellow Army. I don't see any reason to, to have them here. Uh, what we will want to do an invasion into Syria. So we'll leave some troops home here for that then. Uh, that's what we'll do. Uh, the red, entire Red Army is going to come back home though. So let's go and get them going now. Uh, move them on over to this port. And then the Yellow Army, what we'll do is we'll set them up to go ahead and do an invasion of Syria. Uh, although, oh wait a minute, that's already in Axis hands. Never mind. They've already conquered that. So what do the Allies still hold? Let's just take a look here. Of course, they have all the little uh, patches of territory here, which we have some troops to take that. I'm not going to worry myself too much with it, though. And then we're going to want to take over the territory in Africa. Okay. And then we would obviously want to send in an invasion of Brazil. So I guess we can bring all these guys back home then. Yeah. Let's go and get them all coming back home. All right, so it's going to take some time for them to get to those ports so we can move them. We also have all this uh, equipment and stuff to deal with. Uh, all these, uh, excuse me, all these military factories. Look at, look at how many damn military factories we got, guys. Uh, quite a bit. Uh, and even though we have all this new occupied territory, because we're getting garrison support from the Russians and that, the Persians, we actually don't require much manpower for our uh, garrisons. So that's awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Uh, Let's actually see what we need uh, the most of. I know motorized is short, support equipment, we need a lot more of that. A lot more artillery as well. Okay, so that's what we're going to go and invest in. Let's go and go up to five here to get these modernized uh, equipment into there. Let's get more going into support equipment as well. In fact, we might go up to 20 here. Uh, we already have a lot going into artillery. Let's see what else we need. Obviously, motorized uh, leaves a, a bit to be desired. Let's go a bit, in, a bit more into motorized. I feel like five in the armored cars is probably fine. Yeah, I think that's that's fine. I think we should go ahead and really get the support equipment and artillery built up since that's kind of what's limiting our ability to get uh, new new units. All right, so let's get more fighters, more naval bombers, yeah, more close air support as well. Get more planes all around. Uh, we want to get our planes out of the air as well. And uh, yeah, this is, this is how it's going to look. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we're short on any resources. We are not. Uh, we don't need to stop trade for any either. Looking great in that regard. Uh, we have these guys trained up. We'll just leave them here training, I suppose. And then we need to get our planes out of the air. Uh, just go and bring them all back home, man. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get them. We'll just slowly bring them. Actually, this way we'll do it. Tell them all to stop their orders. And then bring them on back home. Now, we actually are lacking in air bases. So we really need to get more air bases built uh, back home. Uh, so let's go and move all these guys back home. Of course, we have these ones as well. Move on back. Oops, we're trying to move them into the port. I'm a dummy. <laughs> That's awesome. And then we have this one. This is the last one here. And so let's go and get him moving as well. Now, I know that they will be overstaffed, but it's not a big deal if they're not doing any missions. It doesn't really have any effect if they're not doing missions. All right, so we're bringing all them back home. I, I want to say this it. Should have everything coming back.
to uh, the homeland. Uh, so we did get field maneuvers. Uh, let's go and see what we want to get next. Uh, so these would give us forts. I want coastal forts. Uh, so we could just focus on getting coastal forts in the capital. Or you can get coastal forts, I think, in all of our ports, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that's one right there. One right there. Yeah, I think that was the other one that it said. I could be wrong. But yeah, I want to say it does defend all of our ports. Yeah, so you can get one coastal fort in all of our ports. Or two coastal forts in our capital. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't really... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're going to build the coastal forts anyway. I guess we'll get the uh, the elastic defense then. Since uh, I'd like to have land forts in, in our capital just in case since they, the allies invade over here and start attacking up this way. It'd be good to have fortifications in the capital to make sure they don't take it. Just thinking of worst case scenarios here. Uh, so we can't do all these paramilitary training missions, which we are not going to do. Uh, I'm just looking for them. Okay, right here. Let's just say we're not interested in seeing any of these. This is just to increase fascism in those countries. All right, so I think that's it. All right, so we'll bring all the troops back home. They did cancel the non-aggression pack. That's not good. I'll give them their puppet, I think, so... I think they're a puppet. Yeah. Uh, well, that's not that. Maybe they're not a puppet. I thought they were, or perhaps I was wrong here. All right, yeah, maybe they're not. And I'm not seeing anything about them being being a puppet. Okay. Uh, so everybody's going to cancel their non-aggression pact since we're not in a, sharing a war together anymore. Uh, but once we go to war with the allies, they should, uh, you know, send those those offers again. Uh, so we want to go to get our more modern ships, guys. We're already getting the battleships. Uh, as far as, like, stuff for the battleships, the guns. We need to get them the guns. And I think that's it. I think if we get the guns, then we'll be good to go. So let's go and get them the guns now. So we start getting the battleships built as soon as possible. Yeah, everybody's going to cancel the non-aggression pact with us. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, guys. They probably won't have anybody here to stop us from taking Kuwait, so I think these two divisions will be enough to get the job done. So we're just going to bring everybody back home, guys. Uh, and maybe we even do naval invasions with these two divisions to, to conquer this territory. Uh, so let's go ahead and start getting some troops built. We need a lot more of these divisions. Uh, let me just take a look here. See how this is. So... We'll probably split our colonial army up into two, but we need a lot more divisions, uh, colonial ones, because I want them here in Africa. Uh, let me see if there's anything we can give them here. Yes, we're going to give them logistic companies. Let's go ahead and save that. I do expect this is going to cause major problems with support equipment, but that's okay. And just kind of deprioritize them getting too much equipment here. And then let's go ahead and just get like a lot of these. I don't even know if 10 is going to be enough, actually. Because remember, we need to get a bunch into our African colonies here, guys. Well, we have a lot of manpower. How are we doing on infantry equipment? We're running... Yeah, we're actually running a bit low on that now. All right. Uh, so, let me see if we get 20 here. How will we be looking on infantry equipment? It looks like that's hasn't updated itself just yet. But we're good enough. All right, so that's what I'm thinking, like 20 of these divisions, guys, uh, for fighting all throughout Africa, because, yeah, I feel like putting too many regular divisions in Africa is just going to cause, like, major supply issues. So we'll just use these guys. Uh, they're only 10 width, and uh, they shouldn't consume too much supply. Uh, so we'll fight with them and see how that ends up going. We'll need a lot of them, though. And, of course, everybody's canceling their lend-lease. And the reason why I'm using, like, the, the small uh, 10 you know, 10 width divisions over the 20 width, because uh, when you look at it, and I think these guys are all here now, when you look at it, you know, what's the difference between, uh, and when it comes to supply, between a 10 combat width and a, uh, and, and two 20 combat widths? Well, if we were to look at that, uh, look at the supply here, as far as the differences go uh, on how much supply use they do, so 0.42 here for the small division, and then for the larger division, it's uh, 0.70. So 0.70 compared to uh, 0.42. So you can see that the larger divisions actually use less supply. Uh, but the reason why I'm using uh, the smaller ones, despite the fact that they use up more supply, uh, is because they're more flexible. You can easily move, you know, uh, you know them from between states. With the 20 width, you, you, know, you can't can't separate it. You can't move it out to a different state if you need to. Uh, so we are in 1945. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and get the uh, field hospitals. Uh, Hill spot, Hill, field hospitals four. Jesus Christ, I can't talk today, guys. Are these guys done training yet? They are. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's go and put them all into this army here. Well, wait a minute. We're going to deploy these guys first. Uh, so we're going to get one more of these guys deployed. As far as them go, um, how are we doing on equipment? We're all right. So let's go ahead and build out some more of these. Uh, oops. Let's go ahead and build out some more. We have the, the manpower available. Let's go and build out like five more, I think. And then deploy the two that we have here. Oh, and these are supposed to just be one. All right, excellent. And then we'll see how things look on infantry equipment. Still good on infantry equipment. Uh, so making use of all that old infantry equipment that we have. As far as uh, what our factories are doing, I bet we're repairing a lot of shit. Okay, we're not. Uh, we don't have a ton of civilian factories, guys. So that's unfortunately a major issue. Uh, so we're getting the radar going. Uh, in all of our islands here. So let's go ahead and then start working on uh, taking care of the supply issues that we will end up having here. Uh, so we're going to want to build up their size so that we can, you know, not have any problems with supply when we put a bunch of divisions in here. This should be good, um, but we'll build up this one. And then we'll want to get the infrastructure built up just a little bit as well, like the ones that we're going to be doing invasions from, which would be these two here. Let's get their infrastructure built up. I just want to make sure we don't have supply issues when I send them a ton of divisions. All right, so that looks good. We can also go ahead and get... We already have coastal forts throughout this territory here. Uh, and then we're about to get another one with this. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to get more uh, coastal forts. Uh, I, I want to get these ones at the level 10. Uh, but it'll probably be the last thing we do. and probably actually do it once we're at war. And here we are with more invasions. You know what we can do, guys, when we get all of our troops back home? And are all these guys here? They are. Uh, we could go ahead and send them off some uh, uh, volunteers to try and help them deal with these damn invasions they keep failing miserably at. Yeah, look at this. Here they are again, losing. They don't even have an Eastern Front now, uh, but they're gonna. They gotta. Feel, they feel the need to uh, to sit on our borders, man. All right. I wonder if we can. Do we still have the? We still have the non-aggression pact with them. All right, I was just wondering if there's anything we could do here to try and like make them feel more safe. And so that they don't have to protect their borders, like, because we're not a threat. Okay, because these guys are, the whole point of having this over so that they can send the divisions uh, to the Western Front. Uh, we did get more military factories, or one more military factory. Uh, we should probably put that in infantry equipment because we do have some shortages now. Uh, engine, or excuse me, recon companies has been researched. Uh, so let's go ahead and get let me see how we're doing. We got all the industrial techs. Uh, I mean, there's a few that we can get for rubber and stuff like that. Obviously, we do want the radar, uh, but let me just see here. Did we get, we did get the last land dropped in. So let's go and research that. Uh, this will give us a uh, higher reinforce rate and we'll use our experience to get it even quicker. All right, excellent. Oh yes, these guys are done training. So let's just go ahead and throw them into this army for now. All right, so bringing all the troops back home. Once we get them here, what we'll do is we'll uh, send off a a volunteer army to the Germans, I suppose. And maybe we actually, you know, we'll probably send one to the Germans, the Italians, and the French. I think that's the best way to do it. And then just help them out in the war while we, uh, you know, prepare. Uh, prepare ourselves to go to war with the Allies. Uh, with, And that'll be with an attack on Brazil. That's how we'll start it. Uh, so we did get more military factories, and we have a decision available. Uh, oh, okay, that's right, because we just got the... Uh, ability to modify our government, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, so we can go ahead and find and get a political advisor, uh, the extra political advisor that we want to get here. So let's see what uh, what we want, which one we want. Uh, so we could build military factories quicker. Currently getting the stability by the research speed as well, as well as the civilian factory construction speed. We'll likely change him out as we get more of the text knocked out. Just looking for uh, what we might want to get here, uh, which one would be the best option. So I'm thinking the war industry, so we can get the military factories and dockyards built quicker. I think that'd be for the best. Uh, there'd also be the financial expert just to get uh, less uh, civilian factories going to consumer goods. Uh, and that would be great too. You have more factories for building and that would help with, with all of our stuff. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do here, uh, how many factories, let me just take a look guys. Uh, did we, we did change to war economy. So how many factories do we currently have going towards, if I can just see here, we're going towards a uh, uh, trading. This is not the right button. Uh, so consumer goods, we have 25 factories going towards consumer goods right now. So how many would we get back? Uh, the people expect 17%, so that we'd be able to drop that down to 12%. 
uh, leaving us 40 factories for 22 could be used for trade. So I don't think this is going to get us much, guys. It's going to get us a couple factories. So it's probably not worth as much as just getting a nice uh, bonus for, for construction. Uh, that's the way it seems anyway. So what we'll go ahead and do is get the, uh, the war industrialist. I think that's for the best. Yeah, let's get the war industrialist. So when we start building military factories again, uh, we'll be able to get them faster. All right, so we have one more military factory to get assigned. Let me just double check on what we're the most short on. Obviously, support equipment is a major issue. Artillery is not as big of a problem now. So we could pull that back a bit, and I think we will. Let's go and pull back. Let's go and get, uh, I want the modern infantry equipment out there getting produced and into our troops. And then we already have 25 going towards support equipment, so that seems pretty good. Uh, I think we should just build planes at this point. We're gonna need a very large air force to be able to compete with the allies. And it does look like this is actually gonna be the end of the episode. Unfortunately, guys, I uh, do have to do a shorter episode today. I just didn't have as much time to record. So this is where we're gonna end it. Our troops are coming back home. Once they get here, we're gonna send off volunteers to, at the very least, Germany and Italy, uh, probably France as well though, so we can help them defend this territory. Uh, so we'll send off uh, three volunteer armies. I don't know how large we can send. Let's just take a look, uh, send volunteers. Uh, we can do eight. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we won't do a full, well, we got, we got the division numbers. So yeah, we can send eight to each one for a total of 24 divisions, an entire army uh, sent to those three countries. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We'll send off some troops to them. We'll set up the armies. That's one reason to wait as well, because we only have like six back home right now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and wait till we get at least the red army here. And then we're gonna send them off and uh, help them out until we're prepared, which preparing requires us to build, uh, you know, more air bases, because these aren't large enough. Uh, the radar needs to be at, you know, highest level uh, as we research that. Uh, we need more coastal bases and, excuse me, coastal forts. And I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, just continue getting these ships uh, trained up over here. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna take these cruisers out. No reason to use use that there. And uh, I don't know what this guy's doing, but let's just go ahead and stop. Send it back home. Oh, okay, that's right, we had him right there. I remember now. All right, so we're gonna send him back home. So I hope you guys did enjoy the episode where we finally got the Soviet Union defeated and have a little Russian puppet over here and took all this land and made lots of map gore. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I don't know. Maybe it'll look better if we give it to the Soviets at the end. I mean, it's no matter what. There's going to be a map gore because of this this little batch here. It just sucked. I wish we would have got all this for ourselves. But it is what it is, guys. Uh, the the point, of the point is that we have won. We now have all this territory in our hands. Uh, and, of course, it's all going to be requiring... Uh, it's probably got pretty bad resistance as well. But all that's going to become more and more useful to us as we get the the compliance up uh which if we were to just look at the here's the total resistance we have 17 percent in the russian empire and of course uh well i guess we could have just looked at the reason the compliance there we're only at six percent compliance so we're not getting all these goodies yet uh, so as we rise up the compliance we'll have more resources more manpower and more factories uh, so i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment i will see you guys on the next episode as we continue to prepare for the war against the allies all right, thanks for watching, guys.